Hello Lakers fans, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss Lakers first-hand news and leave your like to strengthen the channel. Los Angeles Lakers star Anthony Davis raised eyebrows for his surprising reaction to LeBron James breaking the all-time scoring record. The Lakers big man later chalked up his reaction to frustration over the team losing. Yet, Fox Sports' Colin Cowherd is doubling down on his report that there is tension between James and Davis. Cowherd described the relationship between the two stars as not hostile, but added that they're not guys right now. James has been disappointed with Davis for not being in shape following the bubble season, per Cowherd. I guess my takeaway is that the LeBron AD thing is over, but LeBron's really sensitive to it because he did move off Dwyane Wade, Cowherd said during a March 8, 2023 edition of his podcast. He did get criticized for it. I think it's over. I think LeBron's smart enough to see the temperature in the room on social media. He's gonna be there for him Davis when he's make it up. He's like, I love you man. He makes sure everybody knows, but I'm not going to just say AD's reaction to the Kareem moment is nothing. Leave your like on this video to keep up to date with everything that happens at Lakers thanks. Continuing. James is doing his best to refute this notion with Cowherd noting that his initial report received the strongest reaction from LeBron's people on anything I've ever said. The Lakers star publicly campaigned for Los Angeles to trade for Davis back in 2019, a move that helped bring another championship to Los Angeles just one year later. LeBron and AD both have two years remaining on their contracts with the Lakers. The Lakers have tied the future of the franchise to both stars thanks to the blockbuster deal for Davis, where the team still owes the Pelicans draft capital along with James' recent contract extension. Davis still has an additional two seasons remaining on his five-year, $189.9 million contract with the Lakers. James' $97 million extension begins next year and runs through the 2024-25 season. Not only did James push for the Lakers to add Davis, but the two stars share the same representation by Clutch Sports. The topic of James' future continues to be discussed, given the All-Star has been vocal about his desire to play on the same team with his oldest son Bronny James. I need to be on the floor with my boy, I got to be on the floor with Bronny, Lebron explained during a January 7 interview with ESPN's Dave McMenamin. Either in the same uniform or a matchup against him. I don't mean like guarding one another all game, because he's a point guard and I'm a, at this point now I'm playing center or whatever the team needs from me. But I would love to do the whole Ken Griffey Sr. and Jr. thing. That would be ideal for sure. There are times Lebron is disappointed with AD, says Cowherd time will tell if there is any truth to these rumors, and it will be interesting to see how the front office navigates the roster this offseason if the Lakers are unable to make a deep postseason run. Cowherd believes James' frustration with Davis dates back to after the team's championship run. I think there is a feeling, Lebron feels like he kind of needs him Davis for at least this year, because I had been told in the last year there are times Lebron is disappointed, Cowherd explained. He came in post-bubble out of shape. It was his turn to sort of triumphantly take the team when Lebron's missing. AD's often not playing as well. Put your opinion in the comments as it is very important for Lakers I update you at any time with the latest news from Lakers.